Hey guys, this is Apple Fox here, back again with another video. Now, this is the iPhone 7, and here in this video I will be talking about it, and if you should buy one right now. I mean, in terms of the price, money worth, and also the specs, just in case you're deciding to get one. I'll be telling you if you should, when you should, and stuff like that. So, let's get started with the video. It's been released back in September 2016, so it's been almost a year since Apple made it official with this guy, and right now it's of course the latest model. Alongside the 7 Plus, but I'm not talking about the Plus models in this video. Even though it's pretty much the same thing with slightly changed specs. If you wonder about a, like the headphone jack and if you want to miss it, let me tell you my experience. I upgraded from the 6S to the 7 and I was worried about how I will get used to no headphone jack. But I wanted to get the latest, and I was like, I'll have to deal with it. But you know what, now I don't even miss it. You may of course be different, but the only issues with this is that you can't charge and listen to audio at the same time. It's not an issue for me, because I charge my phone during the night all the time. The body of the iPhone 7 consists of aluminum, which means that not only it doesn't feel like cheap like those other plastic smartphones, but also it's really durable, so it can handle some torture. Of course, don't do that to your phone. I'm always using the case on the iPhone. I'm saying this because some people claim that the color of the matte black iPhone 7 starts peeling off, but I haven't noticed anything at all. So, let's talk battery for a moment. It features 1960mAh battery, which can last up to two days of normal using. Normal using means that you don't run on full brightness with the music on while browsing the web using 4G LTE all day. Like making some phone calls, some social media and stuff like that shouldn't drain a lot of battery. To be honest, there are smartphones with better battery life than the iPhone 7, but I wouldn't give up all of the great stuff just to get bigger battery. When taking a look at the cameras, there's 12 megapixel on the back and there's also a 7 megapixel on the front. For me, it's absolutely enough. I make travel videos and photos using this and it's quite good. iPhone's cameras are arguably the best. Other smartphones feature more megapixels, but it's not all about megapixels. The regular iPhone 7 screen is 4.7 inches and you may want a different size and that's why you're watching this video, to decide which device is better for you. You might go for a different iPhone or any other device. Here I'm talking about the things you need to know about the iPhone 7, the cons and pros of this beautiful device. The display, as I said, is 4.7 inches LED backlit IPS LCD with screen to body ratio of 65%. With the resolution of 720 by 1334 pixels, which equals to 326 ppi pixel density. You're getting the 3D touch technology and the home button it also uses 3D touch, so it's not a regular clicking button. Some of the other features I can mention, the Touch ID second generation fingerprint reader, NFC that can be used for Apple Pay, Siri Assistant, iMessage, and there's also this cool mute switch on the side of the phone that lets you mute your device even without lighting up the screen. In case of wondering if the 7 Plus is better than the regular iPhone 7, then there are three things you need to know or to focus on. Firstly is the larger display. You may consider the 7 Plus because the 4.7 inch display of the 7 is just not enough for you. You have bigger hands and you're tired of using the small display. The second thing is the battery. So because the proportions of the Plus model are just bigger, there is more space for the battery so you can fit more mAh battery into the shell of the iPhone 7 Plus. Yes, there is also the bigger screen I talked about, so it uses more power than the smaller one, but at the end, you always end up having a longer battery life. And the third one is the additional lens of the camera. Using this lens, you can create beautiful effects. The bokeh effect is the most popular, is the one when the background is blurred, but for this, you need a second lens. It's possible to do it in photo editing software too, but that isn't as cool as this. For normal using, the camera of the regular iPhone 7 is completely enough, you can create some beautiful shots, but if you want something a little bit better, then grab the 7 Plus. So that was to all of you deciding between iPhone 7 and other devices. Now when you know you want the iPhone 7, when is the best time to get it in terms of the money? Right now, if you head over to Apple's website and buy the iPhone 7, off contract, low storage, doesn't matter what finish, but what I'm trying to say is that the price is $469. It's the same since it's been released back in September. Basically, I don't recommend you to get it right now. And the reason is that you won't save anything. You know, like at the moment, the iPhone 7 is Apple's latest iPhone. But when the iPhone 8 drops, the price of the 7 gets significantly down. And it's gonna be happening in just a couple weeks, so you should definitely wait with the purchase in my opinion. In case you intend to purchase it in used condition, like from Swappa or from Craigslist, you should wait too. 
The very same principle is applied there as well. So guys, we have reached the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope I could help you with your decision. Doesn't matter how you decide, just make sure to enjoy your device. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to this channel so you know when I upload a video. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you next time. Peace.